One of Africa's longest serving and most controversial presidents has accused Western countries of leveling farcical and unfounded allegations of corruption against his family. French and American investigators have accused the family of the president of Equatorial Guinea of diverting tens of millions of dollars of state oil revenues into personal bank accounts. Hard Talk's Stephen Sacker reports from inside the tiny, oil-rich West African country. A brand new highway deep inside the West African rainforest. Deserted. It feels like a road to nowhere. And then we arrive. In the middle of the jungle, a city is rising. This is to be Equatorial Guinea's new capital, Oyala. This has to be one of the most extraordinary construction projects I have ever seen. I'm on the roof of a 450-room, five-star luxury hotel that comes complete with a full-size theater, a convention center, and carved out of the jungle, an 18-hole championship golf course. It's a spectacular vanity project in a country where most people live on barely a dollar a day. Equatorial Guinea is a dictatorship, long run by this man, Teodoro Obiang. His family has been accused by critics of rampant corruption. The president's son, Teodorine, a notoriously extravagant playboy, has had property and assets worth 100 million euros seized by the French government. Oil and gas are the keys to understanding the Obiang regime. Equatorial Guinea is the third biggest producer in sub-Saharan Africa. The oil bonanza certainly hasn't changed these people's lives. Average life expectancy barely tops 50. Public dissent is dangerous in this one-party dictatorship, but anger is close to the surface. The people of Equatorial Guinea are suffering. All the oil money is taken by the president's family. But no one can say anything. If you do, the secret police would come to arrest you. The president gave me a rare interview. He's 70, but in no mood for retirement. I have been in power for so long because of the will of the people. It is the people who decide. Thanks to the work I have done, they've always shown their appreciation and voted for me. What do you say to the people in your own country who say that you and your family have stolen, stolen the resources and the assets that rightfully belong to all of the people of this country, not just to you? That information is false. On the contrary, my government has improved the living standards of the people and provided better infrastructure for everyone. The sun goes down on Oyala, the jungle city. Oil has gifted this country an historic opportunity. Its ruler may be squandering it. Stephen Sacker, BBC News, Equatorial Guinea. And you can see Hard Talk's two programmes from Equatorial Guinea tonight and tomorrow on the BBC News Channel. The Queen is...